<laughs> Why am I doing this? Why? 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 Ah, oh, frick my life. Hello everybody, this is Epicol64, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we covered around 5 stars, and in this episode, we are going to be fighting Bouldergeist for reals this time. Oh man. This is the reason that people have so much trouble with this boss. The Daredevil Run. Because as we know with Daredevil Runs, you only get one segment of health. You get hit once, you have to start all over again. So you know what that means, guys! Oh, this is... Oh, man. Ugh. Oh. Why am I doing this? Why am I freaking doing this? Oh, this boss is so hard to beat with one segment of health, but we gotta do it eventually, so let's just get this over with. Ah, frick my life. Alright, so when you're fighting Boulder guys for the Daredevil one, you definitely want to be on your feet. You want to make sure you look out for all your surroundings, and whatever you do, don't take too many risks. Because if you take too many risks, you will die. And remember, if you die, you have to start the whole thing over again. So, <laughs> my tip to you is just be freaking careful and don't freaking die. That's all I gotta say. Let's get this over with. The first section is pretty freaking easy. But the second section is usually what costs lives. Too many gamers, including myself. Okay, oh man. Even in my, like... Like, I'm seriously, guys, I'm really, really hoping this goes a lot better than my original recording of this boss, because as you all know, guys, I did have, like, two recordings of this boss originally. Or, <laughs> there was a recording... I did, like... Let me rephrase that. I did record Super Mario Galaxy a long time ago, but, because of, you know, big delays and everything, they never came out. And I, it, this boss literally took me so long to beat the first recording of this. Like, the first time I did this for this project, which will probably never be uploaded. It took me so many tries. And I'm really hoping that I can beat this boss on first try. I mean, we're doing pretty well so far. But just watch, there is going to be something stupid that's going to be coming up that's going to... Wait, what? Are you serious? Am I actually going to... Am I... FIRST TRY! Holy crap! That's the first time I've done that boss first try in the Daryl Double one in a long freaking time. Apparently it wasn't as hard as I thought it was originally, I guess... I mean, I don't know. It's it's still pretty freaking difficult, but you know, it, it, this boss has cost me a lot, cost me a lot of lives in the past. But anyway, with that epic win, we get a regular star. Suck it, Boulder or Geist. Suck it. Thank God I did that boss in one try. Thank freaking God. Anyway, we are now officially done with the Ghostly Galaxy and the Beach Bowl Galaxy, which means we are. Going to... Not the galaxy yet. Oh, frick. I accidentally activated that. Oh, well. We'll go through that later. <laughs> accidentally activated that. Whoops. But anyway. Uh, oh, we already did that star in the next episode. I guess we are going to be doing the secret stars. Alright. Let's do it. I accidentally activated this. Didn't mean to do that. But anyway. Bubble Breeze Galaxy. This is the first one we're going to be doing. Uh, so let's do it. So Bubble Bee Ra Galaxy introduces a new interesting gimmick to the game. Through the Poison Swamp. And it's definitely one that, you know, I know there's probably some people who really might not really like this mechanic as much as I do. But personally, I think this mechanic is actually pretty creative and interesting. 
Anyway, through the poison swamp. So here's how this galaxy works. As you can see, we are in a giant poison swamp. I mean, the entire galaxy is a poison swamp. And if you touch that poison swamp, it's instant death. So do not touch the poison swamp. So what you want to do here is you want to get into this bubble. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are controlling this bubble to push, and uh, we need to push the bubble around to traverse through this level. To push the bubble, you use the cursor as a blower, and you press the A button to push it in the direction you want to blow it in. You can do, like, small spurts to make it go slowly, or you can just go full on just to make it go fast. But don't make it go too fast, or else you will bump into os obstacles. And in this level, you don't want to bump into os obstacles... <laughs> That's bad grammar. And you don't want to lose your bubble, because if you lose your bubble while you're over poison swamp, it's instant death for you. So be careful on this boss. Don't be too hesitant. And just try not to die. But yeah, I, I still am really happy that I got Poltergeist done on the first try. Because I was really expecting to do like a big death counter. Like my my original recording of Poltergeist for this project, like the first recording I did for it, I had to do that boss so many freaking times. And it was just Ugh, it was so freaking annoying. So, I'm really happy about how that boss went out, and that it went a lot better than my original recording of this. But anyway, but yeah, look at that. The poisonous swamp. Yeah, through the eyes, you can see. <laughs> like, what was the saying? I forgot the saying. It was something through the eyes can see. Something. I don't know. I forgot what it was. That's a really popular saying, too, which is sad. See through the eyes can see, or something. Like, what was it? What was that saying? Jeez! Never mind. I'm just freaking derping myself. Anyway, what we want to do is go through these logs with holes, then head up here. And while we're actually going through this galaxy, I might as well go ahead and talk about my new upload schedule, if you can call it one. Um, so, over the past couple of days, I have been posting videos a lot more frequently now. And, or... <laughs> I, that didn't really make sense. Over the past few days, I've been posting a lot more videos uh, more frequently over the past couple of days. Like, I've uploaded a new episode every day for the past couple of days now. And I'm really, really hoping that that will be the case for the rest of uh, my channel from here on forth. Because I realize I haven't really been posting a lot of videos over the past, like, few months. Or, like, six months or something. But I do... I really do apologize for the lack of videos, and I do plan to release more videos from this day forth. So, yeah, look forward to that. And I am really happy to finally get back into recording GALAXY! Who would have thought? I didn't die on Boulder, guys, but I died on this mission. <laughs> Seriously, I just want to let you guys know, even though I did say you should be careful, this mission isn't really that hard. It really isn't that hard if you're really careful. In fact, it I would consider it to be harder than the Boulder Guy. Like, I have less trouble on this than the Boulder Guy's Daredevil run. And ironically, I died to this and not the Boulder Guy's run. Oh, by the way, this is shortcut, by the way. And also, one thing to know about this level is that this level seems to give out to you more coins than any other level in the game. Which is also another ironic thing, because this game... Or coins in this game don't really have that much value. But anyway, there we go. I hit that, but I didn't really need to be in that bubble to grab the stars. So anyway, with us dying to this and not Boulder, guys, we got a regular star! Man, that dark music, listen to that. I didn't really like, realize that music keeps playing until you actually go to the boss galaxy, but apparently it does, so whatever. Alright, so, from the looks of things, it looks like we are going to be facing the boss in this episode, or the boss for this galaxy, and a new chapter has been added to the story book. Sweet. Uh, just for the regard, uh, how I'm going to be doing the storybook is I'm going to be doing it two to three chapters at a time. Just like I did for the first three chapters. Um, again, and I may look up a line, up line to see, you know, like, which chapters I might want to end at. So I, so I might, like, go into the library at a certain time so it can be, like, more fitting. Anyway, whatever. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it may be dark. The music may be kind of dark now. But I'm still so excited. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man, guys! You don't know how much I love this galaxy. Boy Base Galaxy. Easily one of the most infamous levels in the game. 
Why? Well, it's not just because of its level design. It's because it has one of the greatest themes in the entire game. The Floating Fortress. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. This is going to be so freaking cool. And it's the only secret star in the game to have more than one star. I'll go more into detail about that later, but I'm going to shut up for this awesome music. Just to go into the water a few days later. Or a few seconds later. If it was a few days later, then that would be like a mini hiatus or something. But anyway, what we want to do here is we want to get this torpedo. And we want to uh, guard, or guide it to, to something certain. Like... Get it correctly. Oh. Come on. Come on. Man. I really hate this part of the level just for the fact that... I can't listen to the awesome music. Like, that's the best part about this level. It's the awesome music. Come on. No! No! Please, 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 please. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Why didn't it hit? Oh, there we... That was weird. Anyway, I'm gonna get to the surface because... Not just because I'm about to die, but... I need you guys to listen to this awesome music. Gotta let you guys listen to the awesome music for a minute. That, my friends, is pure epicness. Ep epicness. And as a prime example of how amazing the music is in this game. In fact, I go down, I freaking dare say that Super Mario Galaxy is my favorite video game soundtrack, or has my favorite video game soundtrack of all time. I'm not joking! It really does! I love the soundtrack that much, and I just love this game so freaking much. I've played it so many times, and it's just such an incredible game. I, I love Boy Base Galaxy, it's so much fun. But anyway, what we have to do here is to collect five blue star chips right here. Also, sorry if my commentary was a little bit weird in the last episode. I was trying to make it, I was trying to pretend that, you know, I didn't remember why Boulder Guys was so hard to so many people, or at least kind of hard to some people. In fact, I just want to go ahead and point out, put a disclaimer. I don't think Boulder Guys is, you know, very, very hard. I think of him as kind of hard. The only reason I was making a big deal about it is because many people, including myself, have died a good amount of times to him. And that's why I made a big deal about the Daredevil run for uh, Bouldergeist. So, I just want to make that clear. I don't think Bouldergeist the Daredevil run is very, very hard. It's kind of hard. It definitely has a challenge, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, right up here is actually the uh, star for this galaxy, so let's go ahead and grab it. Dabbing down, dabbing down, and with us listening to amazing music, we got a regular star! Huzzah! So, I guess it's time to go to the boss battle. We've collected all the stars that we could right now, so I guess it's time to go to the next boss battle. Right? 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 Wrongo! That's right, there is actually two stars in the Boy Base Galaxy, not one. Just like I mentioned earlier, this is the only secret galaxy in the game that has more than one star. And as you can see, it has a certain color to it. There's actually a certain significance to that, but we'll go into more detail about that later. Let's go and grab the secret star of Boy Base. And I mean... Another star, another star to do in boy base is a plus for me because this music is just so freaking amazing. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and skip all this. And what we have to do now is we actually have to go underwater. And once again, we have to guide those bullet torpedoes, I'm guessing. Torpedo bills? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we have to guide those torpedoes to a different cage. So let's have one follow us. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
You almost got it. Yeah! Alright, now that that's there, there's a torpedo. Which allows us to go in there. Easily. Anyway, more awesome music, by the way. Oh, by the way, this is water, so don't drop into this, because this is water. But anyway, what we want to do here is we want to actually... Uh, dodge all these bullet bills, because... Well, if they knock you back into the water, then you will have to go back into that pipe again, which really isn't much, but you know. And what we have to do is guide this bullet bill over to this cage that has... A green power star! Not a regular one. So with us, listening to awesome music again, we got a green regular star. What is this, you may ask? Well, I believe our good friend Rosalina will explain that for us, so... Let's see what Rosalina has to say about these interesting stars. You rescued a grand green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars somewhere. I can save, because just in case the recording's messed up. Oh, got mail. Got mail? What might this be? Oh, another love from Luigi. Oh, we got stuck again. Good job, Luigi. Good freaking job. But oh, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me! Okay, so once again, we are not going to be doing the boss next. We have been denied the boss twice, so that's great. Let's go ahead and talk to this Luma. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the Trio Galaxies. Ooh. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. And funnily enough, or that doesn't make sense. Interestingly enough, Luigi actually does not have a regular power star like one of those regular ones. He actually has a green power star, in fact. There are three green power stars in the game, each put into certain galaxies. And once you collect all three, you will be able to go to the Trial Galaxies. What are the Trial Galaxies? Well, I'm not going to talk about it right now, but I will go into it later. But for now, let's go ahead and get the second freaking secret star of the Battle Rock Galaxy. And I'm actually going to go ahead and off-screen because you guys have seen this before, so I am going to go ahead and off-screen. And because there is actually a green star in this level, Battle Rock Galaxy actually marks as the only galaxy in the game to have seven stars instead of the... or... Gotta cut that out. Okay, sorry for that cut. I actually had to cut that out because it was spoilers for later, so... Anyway. Because Battle Rock Galaxy has a green star in it, it's it's the actually the one galaxy that actually has the most stars in the game, which is pretty interesting. And I'm gonna go ahead and off screen because you guys have seen this already, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, we are finally back, and now what we need to do is we need to head down here, where we got the original star of this galaxy, and we need to break this cage now. So let's go ahead and get a bullet bill, and this one's a little bit trickier because you have to make the bullet bill go under these planets and step over them, or saucers, I guess you could say. I don't know. One of the two. This is a little bit... But this may be a little bit weird, per se. I might want to... Oh, man, I'm low in health. I might want to break one of these. Come on. There you go. Alright, so let's see if I can do this. Um, right. We want to do here. We can time it correctly. We want to go slowly under. Then, jump. And... Boom! Sweet. Ah! I thought I'd go crazy in there! Try to save me sooner next time, bro. Wait, what? Luigi, really? Yeah, yeah, you want this powder star, right? Only if you tell Rosie you know, I found this. Wait, why? Why the frick did you not say this to us before? I mean, what the <sighs> whatever. I don't know. I'm not gonna complain because it is the year of Luigi anyway. So, this powder star is mine. No, it's for everybody. Or well, it's not for everybody. It. We need it to save the world or save the universe, Luigi. Stop taking the power stars for yourself! Jeez. Selfish. Anyway, that is the second green star of the game. And once we collect the third one, which we will be collecting for a while, we will unlock the Trial Galaxies, which again, I will go into more detail anyway. Uh, <laughs> go into detail later. I have background in these episodes. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and off-screen to the kitchen because we're going to be facing the boss, so I'll be right back. Okay, so after being delayed by it twice... <laughs> We are finally going to be facing 
the boss of the kitchen. Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. Alright, let's do it. Going to Bowser's Cornea! <laughs> It's like the thing in the eye or something, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, sinking the airship. Is that what it's called? A cornea? Is there a cornea? I don't freaking know. Anyway, sinking the airships. Super Mario Bros. 3, Epic Nation. 3, 2, 1. Love that remix. It's so good. Anyway, guys, welcome to Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. Uh, this level is definitely a lot longer than the first Bowser Jr. level. The, Bow the first Bowser Jr. level was very, very short and took you to the boss very, very quickly. Or you got to the boss very, very quickly. This one definitely has some length to it, and it's definitely going to be a little bit tricky this time around, so let's see how we fare. And I have no idea why that's there. Anyway, what we want to do here is we want to use these cannons to aim at poles. And we need to aim at these poles because if we actually miss these poles, we'll actually go flying into space and we will die, so... You definitely want to have good aiming skills here, so... Or, actually, you can't really die because there's a Slink Star there, so... There is no challenge to them. But hey, I like to aim, to them, aim for them anyway because I'm a boss. Well, I'm not really a boss, but at least I can actually do it right anyway. Boo! Yeah, that's a boss. I love that saying, like a boss. Oh, frick. I can't buy any. My bad. Alright, let's get some more, uh... Uh, Star Bits. Anyway, while I'm going through this stage, I might as well go ahead and talk about other things. Um, so how's your summer been, guys? Uh, my summer's been pretty good. I've been doing a good amount of things recently. I've been going out to eat. I've been, uh, I've been in my room editing, doing all stuff, doing stuff, watching YouTube. Yeah, not nothing that exciting has really happened yet, except maybe you know I've had some friends over. I've gone over to friends' houses, and you know I saw Man of Steel last month, which was a really good movie, by the way. You should go see it. Um. So yeah, that's what's happened uh, for me so far. Um, more exciting things are going to be happening for me later in the summer, so I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, I hope your summer is going well, guys. And um, if you can, tell me uh, how your summer is going in the comments below, if you can, if anybody is going to be watching this. Uh, please tell me in the comments below how your summer is doing, because I would really like to know. I'd like to know. Anyway, right here, you want to be careful here, because there are spiders and cannons that are aiming at you. And you want to be careful about jumping, because jumping will actually bring you back, or actually doesn't, never mind. Um, you want to be careful about getting hit, because if you get hit in the air, you can actually get knocked off the platform, so be careful there, but anyway. We have a good amount of health, and it's time to face the third main boss of the game. Oh, Bowser Jr. You're evil. You just don't give up. Fine then, I, I guess I'll just wump you myself. You want this grand star so bad, you're gonna have to take it from me! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so now we are going to be fighting Bowser Jr. himself, kind of. We are fighting his airship, and what you basically have to do is you have to take these Koopa shells, which these are literally live Koopa shells, by the way. <laughs> I, I just want to point that out. And um, what we have to do is take these Koopa shells and aim the shells at his ship to uh, beat him. That's basically it. And after three hits, he will turn it around, and he will start shooting out gigantic fire cannon things, and there will be less range for you to hit him, so it definitely gets a little bit more challenging. But overall, not too drastically difficult. You shouldn't have that much of a hard time with this boss. Um, you may die once or twice the first time you do this boss, but overall, not that difficult. See? Not that difficult. Yeah! Suck it! Saki Bowser Jr. Let let fly away like a wuss. Wait, anyway, guys. After an eight month hiatus, and after whooping Bowser Jr.'s butt, we got a grand star! Alright, the kitchen is complete. Cool. 
All right, that galaxy is complete, and we have now opened up a bunch of new galaxies. <laughs> because we did a lot of galaxies over time. Oh. Anyway. Thanks to you and your friends, all of the domes in, on the lower level are working again. Once the engine room on the upper level has power, the whole observatory will be working. Then the common observatory will fly as a starship once again. This is why I say... Er, I'll explain that later. And you will be able to fly to your special one in, in the center of the universe. This is why I said that this is that the bedroom, or the fourth dome of the game, is the last main dome of the game, or the last required dome. Because after you get the Grand Star in the fourth dome, and you have 60 stars, you can actually hit off to the final boss. But ladies and gentlemen, I... I think I did save my game. Did I save my game? I'm probably gonna save anyway. Anyway, guys, that about does it for this recording session and this episode. In the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be heading off to the garden. <laughs> or not the garden. The... Anyway, guys, that about does it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Anyway, guys, that about does it for this. But on that, though, ladies and gentlemen, that about does it for this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please check out my other content. And in the next episode, we are going to start the final required uh, dome of the game. Not the final one, but the final required one, the bedroom. I'm Apricol64, and I thank you for watching. See you guys next episode. Peace.